Hello, this is Cheryl McCoy. I'm making a uh, tutorial on the differences between activities and resources in the teacher practice area, the TPA. I went right to the activity and resource box. You've already opened the teacher practice area. You're already enrolled. You've already turned the editing on. Now you've gone into your little classroom area and you've decided I'm going to add some activities or I'm going to screen down in this little box and I'm going to go to the resources. Now here are the resources. In general, the major difference between resources and activities is how the teacher is able to use everything in resources. For instance, in Lightbox Gallery, you put the pictures in that go with a unit or a lesson or whatever it is you want to make, and then students can, if you enable it, leave comments on your gallery. They're not going to add anything that's going to change your, your light box. And that is the way it is with all the resources. For instance, label. Click on this Add button. Bring it up. You get to use the Rich Editor and Poodle to do various things with your label. You use the label a lot, but there's nowhere in here where it says students are using the label. That's just an addition to make your class put it together. It's a teacher resource, as is a folder. It enables a teacher to dis display a number of related files. So all of these, the URL, the poster, the page, these are all things that you use to create your classroom to enable authentic learning. Now, you also need other things because you need student engagement. And to have student engagement, you need to use these activities. They will help you bring the kids in. Now, some of them are teacher uh, housekeeping, what we call housekeeping files, like attendance, taking attendance. You can take the attendance, present, absent, late, excused, the checklist. That could be something that they need to do. So that is more like a resource, but yet it's something that uh, the kids are going to have to look through and work on. Database allows participants to create, maintain, and search a collection of entries. That's participants are using something that you helped create, but they are having a, the ability to do some things with it too. If uh, you enable it, the entries in a database can be linked where the words and phrases appear within the course. So this has resource-like abilities, but as I said, there are a distinctive amount of things that kids can do. Now, these games, book with question. When the student answers correctly, they can go on to the next chapter. The teacher does put input in almost everything here but the students also have some ability to work with the activities. And that's pretty much it. That's the basics of the differences between resources and activities. Simple to complex resources are pretty much just for the teacher. Activities also can have interactive competencies and abilities for the students. Thank you very much. This is Cheryl McCoy. I hope this has helped.